there any things that you try and steer clear of or are there some things that you prefer to make at home rather than buying at the store because they have a tendency to have more filler ingredients? I tend to eat more of a whole foods plant-based diet. So a lot of what is in the cookbook will be fresh foods, legumes, grains, and things like that. But uh, when I'm looking for, we'll say, even a can of beans, I'm looking for low sodium uh, or no sodium if that's an option. When I'm looking at my tomatoes or marinara sauce, say I'm, I don't want to make a marinara at home, I'm buying marinara sauce at the grocery store, uh, I'm looking for low sugar, low sodium, uh, if possible, low oil. And those are the healthier options. And uh, it's not just money that you're saving with the, all the work that you do, it's helping people save time. Is there anything specific that we haven't spoken about already that can really help people to, to save a lot of time when it comes to all of their food prep? Yes, you can put a lot of thought. Again, it's, it's not only about meal prepping, it's putting in the work and using the time very efficiently and maximizing the efficiency in the kitchen. Some of those are when you're cooking, if you double your batch you can have leftovers for the rest of the week and my style of eating leftovers is um, say you make a big pot of soup you're gonna hate your soup in seven days if you've eaten it every day so I like to make it really bland on the first day and then every day following I just ladle out um, my portion and then I flavor it differently I'll put hot sauce and lemon juice I'll put um, some hickory smoke or I'll put nutritional yeast or just vary it up and it'll be a different experience every time. And you can even toss in some frozen vegetables for different texture and uh, variation. 